Okay guys, welcome back. We'll just do some shots down rain. Just hit some four irons. what that angle's like. Actually just change the camera and just try and get get dead in front of it. Really strong right to left wind guys. Wind is like 40 k's straight across. <clears throat> but see it doesn't seem to affect the ball very much does it? That ball's going very very straight. Amazingly straight. Now I really slapped down on this guys. Just choked off the backswing a little bit because it got a real big gust on me just as I got to the top of the swing and I thought it was going to sort of blow me into the ball. Just got, yeah, it's really windy. See how windy it is? It just really wants to blow me over. Okay, come on Jay. It's, uh, come on, keep it out there, come on. I just haven't got the, the hang time. I've got it, and it's hard with the wind, because when I get to the top, because I'm so wide with the swing and the wind, I'm usually really tight and compact, I feel like I'm a bit vulnerable to the wind. So I'm starting down way too quickly. Come on. That's really good ball flight there. See guys, they're not, they're not, um, they're not variable in the shape. Shape is very consistent. They're down the pipe. And I'm not, look, when we're learning this, what happens, of course, clearly is, there's three or four things or five things or whatever, but you won't get them all together initially. I can't get the foveal vision at the moment. I'm just not seeing the ball with two eyes. I just feel I've got a little bit of, tiny little bit of vision um, movement which uh, just takes a little bit off the strike. Now guys, considering the wind is like 30 k's at least across here, uh, that's not moving that ball. 
I mean, that's just holding its line in that wind, which is amazing. And I would imagine that that Jimmy Bruin would have been a great wind player. So what does the grip feel like? When I take it back, it almost feels like it's coming out of my, ah, that's interesting, very interesting. That hole in the glove that Jimmy Bruin's got, I know why that happens. When I take it back now, the grip feels loose here. It feels loose there. And the, and the shaft actually feels like it's, for some reason or other, I want to I want to let go with those fingers there and I'm losing a little, but then there's a grab with it on the downswing. That's what, that's what caused that, that wear in his glove. Ha ha, I can actually feel that now. Wow. And it is because when you turn it this way, guys, the fingers want to open. The wind almost <laughs> blew me over then. And I tried to hang on a little bit more with the, with the lead hand after talking about that and just left the blade open a little bit. The strike was super. Come on, Dad. Don't get any better than that, guys. It's just really... With the contrast here, I can't see the ball until it's starting to come down. It goes up, it gets lost in the clouds. But I know where to look. I just look where I'm aiming and the ball just falls out of the sky on that line. Come on. Keep it out there. Yeah, I completely lost that, but then I looked where I'd aiming and it just fell out of the sky dead straight. But I've got no foveal vision, guys. That's what I don't have. I don't have dual eyes on the ball at the moment. Come on, Jay, see it hit. Don't worry, guys. At the end of the week, you'll see the club out there. I'll try and do one. Probably muck this up completely. That's what it feels like. <laughs> oh, it's not, but that's what it feels like. It feels like the club's getting away from me. On the backswing, it feels like it's going over here. It's just so hard because the brain is wanting to go back to the old program of, you know, tight in here. I can feel it. Well, we haven't hit any bloopers and I would have thought that I would hit a lot of them. Haven't hit one. I will right, we'll try and I'll try and be extreme. I probably will hit a blooper here. How'd you like to hit bloopers like that? And you know what helps with the whole process? We're not trying to fire the golf club or the ball towards the target. The target becomes irrelevant after you've taken your stance and your aim line. The only thing that's relevant is putting that golf club on top of the golf ball. I'm not thinking about hitting it towards the target. I'm just trying to put the club right down, smack on top of the golf ball. I'm just trying to hit it really into the ground. Here we go. Come on. Now I just haven't got the, haven't got the, um, the, uh, the pause factor. Really need to work on that. Come on.
Now when I get that little push like that, that's, that's because of the eyes just moving a little bit like that and then the hands follow the eyes. And, and they just don't, don't release the club. I can feel it. Boy, it's, oh guys, it's not easy. It's not easy to do. Come on. See, my normal tempo is one, two. I have to modify it to get, if you see Jimmy, Jimmy is a, a one, a two. Mine's a one, two. I've got to get it to a one, a two. That's what I've got to get it to, a one, a two. See guys, there's just no, no awful shot. Just none. And I feel like the club's doing this. I feel like Zorro. It really is, really is it's so different for me because I'm, I'm usually a tight person. I really get it tight. I, I, what stage am I at now? I'm still in the scared stage. The swing is very scary and I feel totally out of control and I feel like I'm going to miss it on a lot of occasions. I still have a, a very much a fear factor and a miss factor in my brain. If I can overcome that, uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll get a good result. But I'm very much, I can't give up at the moment, I'm just I'm not, I'm not giving up the fear factor. I've got to give up the fear factor. So guys, considering none of it's right and the timing is still to be built, all those shots are acceptable. I mean, they're all you know, there's no horribles, there's no hooks and there's no, you know, you know, no really loose shots. I mean, there just isn't. Well, I hit this one really hard, see what it, see what the breakdown is. Now that was really clamping the ball. That, that, I actually got, I actually got that. As you can see, I mean, I really drove, you know, really, the club went into the ground and I really did clamp that ball. Now, what happened there, that's when the, that's when the old swing comes in. That's the old swing trying to get the club to move towards the target rather than down. Now, if you don't, if you don't fire it straight down, you don't get any hit. You'll get this. There's no release on the club. You've got to be just so committed to hitting straight down into the golf ball. Like that. Now, I, I don't want the club to think it's going towards the target. Just want to think it's going to China, straight down through the ground. That's what I want to feel it where it's going. Really hit this hard. See, that's almost hybrid distance. Okay, guys, really windy and pretty horrible. So anyway, there's a lot, lot to happen. A lot of things will happen, and we'll get some really good, good results. So anyway, a couple of shots down range. Don't know if you can see them. Uh, I was going to hit a couple of drivers, but it's, the, the wind is really strong. 
Okay, guys, we'll do some more tomorrow.